Council of the City of, of Norfolk is now in session. Would you please stand? The opening prayer will be given by the Vice Mayor, Angela Graves Williams. Williams Graves, pardon me. <laughs> and then please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Excuse me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and your many displays of love through tangible and intangible blessings too numerous to measure. For that we say thank you. Bless the city of Norfolk and bless every citizen who resides within its boundaries and every city employee who works to make our city great. Bless our mayor, our city manager, and this council as we labor together in the calling of public service. During the holiday season, we ask that you bless those who are less fortunate. Give them the comfort of your love in this time. These and all other blessings we ask in your name. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, the clerk will please call the roll. <laughs> Ms. Graves? Here. Ms. Johnson? Here. Mr. Protegiro? Here. Mr. Riddick? Here. Mr. Smigel? Here. Dr. Wibley? Here. Mr. Wynn? Here. Mr. Frame? Here. The motion is to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the previous meeting, please. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. The clerk will please read the resolution for the closed meeting. A resolution certifying a closed meeting of the Council of the City of Norfolk held in accordance with the provisions of the Virginia Freedom of Information Act. Adopt the resolution. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Norfolk City Council Chambers. We're glad to have you here the benefit of those of you who do not regularly attend our council sessions. The uh, procedure, the process which we will take up tonight, the first thing we're going to do is take up a, a bid process, an invitation to bid. And then we'll move directly to the public hearings. We have a number of them scheduled tonight. And um, a number of you are here on behalf of them. It looks like we have 17 public hearings. At the conclusion of the public hearings, we'll move directly to the regular agenda. We have a number of items there on the regular agenda. Docket is, we'll, we'll vote on all these matters in just the way they are numbered on the printed docket. At the conclusion of our regular agenda, if any member of the public would like to address the City Council on new business or that's something that's not on our printed docket, you'll be given that opportunity. But in order to have your name uh, called, you must have first signed a slip of paper uh, which the clerk has made available in the lobby behind the council chambers, and about, I think, six of you have elected to do that. And we're glad to hear from all of you. So um, there are no ceremonial uh, matters tonight, so we'll move to the first item on the agenda, which is the invitation to bid. Mr. Clerk? Yes, sir. This is an invitation to bid. Notice of public hearing scheduled for this day to accept bids for a long-term lease agreement with a term of 25 years with a renewal of 15 years for property known as the Downtown Norfolk Transit Center at 434 St. Paul's Boulevard. All right, so how many bids have been received? <coughs> One bid, Mr. President. Uh, please read the bid and mark it for identification. Hampton Roads Transit has submitted the bid uh, for lease of the Hampton Roads, uh, of the uh, um, Downtown <coughs> Norfolk Transit Center for 25 years with a renewal term of 15 years to be operated as a mass transit center subject to terms and conditions uh, set forth in the exhibit and ordinance. All right. Have you marked it for identification? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, are there any additional bids offered this evening? All right. If there are no no additional bids, I declare the bidding closed. Is there any member of the pu member of the public who wishes to be heard on this matter? If there is no member of the public who wishes to be heard, I declare the public hearing closed. Is there a recommendation from the city staff regarding the bid received from? Hampton Roads Transit. City staff recommends that the bid by Hampton Roads Transit be accepted in the lease agreement awarded to Hampton Roads Transit. Okay, is there any discussion? No. There's no discussion. I will ask the city clerk to read the proposed ordinance. I have an ordinance accepting a bid submitted by Hampton Roads Transit for a long-term lease agreement with a term of 25 years and a renewal term of 15 years for property known as the Downtown Norfolk Transit Center. Dispense with a charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. I see Mr. Harrell here. Okay, Mr. Harrell, we got a deal. Um, the council has uh, expressed 
uh, first of all, we're very proud of this project. We also uh, had some time to talk about, you know, the maintenance of the facility, and we're expecting that to stay in just as good a shape the day we open it as it is over the last years that this lease is, is, uh, is in place. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Amaruso, who attended your work session, briefed me uh, on the concerns, and we certainly will do uh, our very best. We know that there's a, res a significant responsibility we have to maintain that facility. We also want to encourage our customers to take pride in the facilities as well. But okay. our vision clearly is to be the most efficient and customer-driven transit agency in the Commonwealth. We have work to do, and you have my commitment, sir. Thank you. All right, Mr. O. Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, public hearing number one, please. Public hearing one scheduled for this day to hear comments on the conveyance of a gem lot to DPT Construction LLC of a certain parcel of property located at 1716 Princeton Avenue. We can call the roll. Have an ordinance authorize the conveyance to DPT Construction LLC of a certain parcel of property located at 1716 Princeton Avenue for $38,600 in accordance with the terms and conditions of the conveyance agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? You know, I called uh, uh, our director of city planning uh, today. Uh, I'm just uh, concerned that with these gym lots uh, that the, we, we're, we're selling them, but that we kind of oversee the construction of the properties that are going there, mm -hmm. and they're not, you know, substandard or using substandard material. Somebody will buy a house they have 30 years to pay for, but they'll be upside down in, in, you know, eight or nine years. And so I know we have guidelines for the smaller lots, but I just want to make sure that, you know, we get an understanding of the individuals that we are selling these properties to, that uh, they're going to give us a good product. I vote aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Webley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing two, please. Public hearing two, scheduled for this day to hear comments on the conveyance of a gym lot to Terry Self on a certain parcel of property at 2506 Maltby Avenue. Call the roll. Have an, an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to Terry Self of a certain parcel of property located at 2506 Maltby Avenue for $6,394.71 in accordance with the terms and conditions of the conveyance agreement. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson? Um, I and I spoke with the Civic League president as well. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing three. Public hearing three is scheduled for this day to hear comments on the conveyance of a gym lot to Notable Rehabs LLC of a certain parcel located at 2604 Barry Street. I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to Notable Rehabs LLC of a certain parcel of property located at 2604 Barry Street for the sum of $15,600 in accordance with the terms and conditions of the conveyance agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. And Jason Middleton, Mr. Middleton? Okay, and you heard the comments that we just, that were just made about the construction on these properties, right? And you're here actually, you're purchasing three properties. Thank you, three, four, and five, right? You're here to, to discuss public hearings three through five? Yeah, I just, I have three, um, one which is on uh, 2604 Bar Street. Right. And the other one is on 2606 Bar Street. And the other one is 2606 <coughs> Middle Ave. Right. My objective is to revitalize the area where we bring more families into the community. Okay. All right. That's my, that's my goal. Thanks, Mr. Middleton. And your address is 4410 East Claiborne Square. 40, Hampton, right. Virginia. Thanks a lot. You have okay. a good one. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. Um, Mr. Middleton, um, I've already spoke with the Civic League president and the community, so I'm going to suggest that you continue to work with them in your pursuit of building in um, the community, as well as I spoke with Mr. Homewood um, today. So um, good luck with your project, but the community... Um, we'll be looking at what you do in their community, okay? Thank you. Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing four? Public hearing four are scheduled for this day to hear comments on the conveyance of a gen lot to Notable Rehabs LLC of a property located at 2606 Barry Street. <clears throat> now, I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to Notable Rehabs 
LLC of a parcel located at 2606 Barry Street for the sum of $15,600 in accordance with the terms and conditions of the conveyance agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing six. Five, Mr. President. Five, I'm sorry. Pardon. Public hearing five, uh, scheduled for this day to hear comments on the conveyance of a gem lot to Notable Builders, Re Notable Rehabs, LLC, of a certain parcel of property located at 2606 Middle Avenue. And I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to Notable Rehabs, LLC, of a certain parcel of property located at 2606 Middle Avenue for $32,400 in accordance with the terms and conditions of the conveyance agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing six. Public hearing six scheduled for this day for a change of zoning from IN1 Institutional to Open Space Preservation District on property located at 7620 Sherland Avenue by 7-0 vote Planning Commission recommends approval. And I have an ordinance to rezone property located at 7620 Sherland Avenue from IN1 to OSP District. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Great. Public hearing seven, please. Public hearing seven, scheduled for this day. Uh, on the application of Coastal Breeze Car Wash for a change of zoning from C3 Retail Center District to C2 Quarter Commercial District on property located at 834 North Military Highway. By 6-1 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. And Kent, is, Winquist is here is, to answer. There you are, Kent, as long as Mr. Toll, I think we're fine. May have reduced okay. the, the uh, recyclable right. water yes, requirement. The recyclable rate that you'll be voting on is 50%. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. Okay, call the roll. I have two ordinances, Mr. President. The first is an ordinance to rezone property located at 834 North Military Highway from C3 to C2. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. And the second is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit the operation of a car wash named Coastal Breeze Car Wash <laughs> on property located at 834 North Military Highway. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing eight. Public hearing eight scheduled for this day for a change of zoning to modify conditions attached to the property zone conditional C2 on property located at 2219 Colonial Avenue by 7-0 vote planning commission recommends approval. And Robin Thomas is here to answer questions if we have any. This looks like a great project. Okay. I have three ordinances for this, Mr. President. First is an ordinance to rezone property located at 2219 Colonial Avenue to change conditions on property zone conditional C2 district. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. The second is an ordinance granting a special exception to permit the operation of a microbrewery named Maker's Craft Brewery on property located at 2219 Colonial Avenue. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. And the third is an ordinance granting a special exception authorizing the operation of an entertainment establishment known as Maker's Craft Brewery on property located at 2219 Colonial Avenue. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. We have public hearing nine. Mr. President, the applicant has requested that uh, this matter be continued and, indefinitely. Right. And I see Mr. Nutter here, if, if you have any questions. Okay. We're going to vote to withdraw. Is that? Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? You know, uh, this particular project would have a, a negative impact on, uh, on Roland Park. And the bad thing about it uh, is that 
by it being continued indefinitely, what is being done is being continued after the election in May. And, uh, and, and, and so I really believe that these uh, rel residents in this community should, you know, realize that, uh, <coughs> that there's a game being played uh, in regards to this. And I actually overheard a conversation where one council person said to the other that, okay, I'm going to ask that they continue this thing until after the May election. And, you know, I just hate to think that we have uh, sunk into the level of, let's use the term, Chicago politics where we try to trick uh, uh, our voters. I got a call from uh, Steve Cooper who represents this group, and I told him, you know, straight up that I'm going to support the Planning Commission's uh, decision. Uh, this would be an awful place uh, to put, uh, put uh, housing. But everybody's getting these tax credits, and whenever they see a piece of land, they try to stick it there, not even thinking about who's going to go there, how long they're going to stay there, and what's going to happen to it afterwards. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, vote no for the continuance because I see a game being played, and, and I don't like it. Mr. Smeagol? Good job. Aye. Dr. Wibley? Uh, well, th this is interesting because, frankly, I was not privy to that discussion. I have worked for a long time with the Franklins and uh, the neighborhood, and I'm not in support of this project. And I'm, I was voting to continue it because I don't ever want it brought up. Right. But um, it's a game. So anyway, I'll, I'll be interested, but I'll be voting against it again if it is brought up. So aye. Mr. Wynn? Well, I... They're clients of mine, so I have to abstain anyway, but I will vote for the continuation because we normally give that to people. Yeah. Mr. Frame? Aye. Did you get everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, where are we? Public hearing 10. 10? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Public hearing 10 scheduled for this day on the application of West Norfolk Marketplace, LLC, for an amendment to the future land use designation in the general plan for multifamily corridor to commercial at 1209 West 26th Street, from industrial to commercial at 2330 Bowdens Ferry Road, and for a change of zoning from I-1 Limited Industrial, I-3 General Industrial, and C-2 Quarter Commercial to conditional C-2 Quarter Commercial on property located at 2315, 2401, 2419, 2501, 2517, 2601, 2605, and 2613 Hampton Boulevard, 1250 West 24th Street, 1215, 1217, 1221, and 1225 West 25th Street, 1204, 1207, and 1209 West 26th Street, and 2330 Bowdens Ferry Road. And by a 7-0 vote, Planning Commissioner recommends approval. Okay. Um, there are three members of the public who have signed up to address the council on this matter. Mr. Harris, Thomas Harris. Good evening, Mayor Fram and members of the City Council. Good evening. My name is Mr. Harris. I'm from 1231 West 27th Street, Norfolk. I'm here tonight to speak on the shopping center. We are for it, but however, you know, Lammers Point is one of the oldest communities in the city of Norfolk. It had been sliced so much that the name is small. To change this to here, make this shopping center West Norfolk Marketplace and not Lammers Point Marketplace as a slap in the face to the residents of the Lammers Point community. We submit back in October to the city planning to, and developers to change it from West Norfolk Marketplace to Lammers Point Marketplace. We haven't heard anything. We don't know anything. We didn't even know about this being on the docket until yesterday. What's the problem? It's a problem somewhere along the line that the Lammers Point Civic League and the Lammers Point community like to know. You don't even have anyone on the committee for this shopping center and the Hampton Boulevard Cardinal from Lammers Point. We like to know what's going on in that area. It's like other part of the city communities know. So we're asking that you, the council, Take a long, hard look at this name and change it to Lammers Point Marketplace. Thank you. Thank we you. also have Thanks, Mr. a Harris. few people here from the community that are behind me. Yes, sir. And we'd like to see 
someone from the council at our next civil aid meeting in January to let us know what the update is. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Charles Corbett. Good evening. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, and thanks to the city council people and other people in the audience. My name is Charles Corbett. I'm the vice president of the Lama Sponsor League. Uh, I've seen a lot of things uh, in urban planning and development, such as the, uh, and one of those things is the West Side, initial West Side Marketplace, AKA the Norfolk Marketplace. Now, a lot of times, the things that uh, urban planning, a uh, master plan does come with a hook. And sometimes the hook uh, is ordered to get something else going. Uh, Mr. Uh, Harris is right. Lammas Point is, uh, is a, as I understand it, in your uh, Central Hampton Boulevard plan is a conservation community. And in changing the conservation community, I thought you had special consideration for that. And I think the name change should be Lammas Point. I am. We are in support of the project. However, as Ms. Harris said, for the last several, the thing with the city council, nobody notified us as they said they would. This meeting that came up today, nobody notified us. We have not heard anything since the project went back to the planning committee from your last city council meeting. And there's been some changes with the, uh, 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 the project. One of the unknown things that we would like to know is what was the last time we uh, met with the developers, uh, they said they have not obtained all the property. We would like to know what percentage of the property has been obtained. We would like to know what, what, what is their capacity building plan regarding the park and the traffic on Hampton Boulevard and delivery to the shopping center. Also, we would like to know what is the overall impact on the community and the financing and what funds and land has it allocated to, the pro to this project and the financing of this project and identify the sources. Uh, we kind of con conceive that this new name, the Norfolk, the West Norfolk Marketplace, is something like a major gentrification program, which have not had any public debate. If you're going to do a gent gent gentrification, it seems like there should be a public debate. Now, the last thing I want to say on this issue is that you are not following the policy of the Civic League the policy of the city civic league and the partnership that was announced in that same plan <coughs> and implementation framework. How do we get there? Part three, page 31, which called for a partnership with all the organizations involved in that particular area on this plan. Now, I'm quite sure somebody's been in the meeting, but Lambs Point Civic League has not been involved. I do have a lot of years of experience in urban planning. I have never seen anything like this. And I would hope that you would go back and reconsider the name of the uh, the name of the Lammas Point marketplace and also go back and at least follow your own policy of of uh, of uh, and procedures of acknowledging what a partnership is. Thank you. And I'd like to leave a copy of this with the clerk. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Mr. Tingle, are you here, Thomas Tingle? Mr. Mayor, member, members of council, I'm Tom Tingle, 4350 Newtown Avenue in Williamsburg. I'm here representing the developers of the uh, West Norfolk Marketplace project. Passing around our uh, presentation that we made to the Planning Commission actually uh, late last summer, but we'll not take you through all the details of that because I think if most council members have probably watched that, uh, that hearing, public hearing at the Planning Commission, and uh, the changes that are, have been made in that are very, uh, very simple. We uh, are here representing Vista Core Advisors. I have with me Dave Clark, who lives here in Norfolk, and uh, Jim Carr, who lives on the peninsula, those are the developers of the project. Um, and we appreciate the Lamberts Point Civic uh, League being involved in the project. We actually met with the league uh, three times, starting uh, uh, middle of the summer before we met with, with the Planning Commission. 
Um, and honestly, their input tonight, their input throughout the whole process has been very helpful for us. A lot of the uh, comments that we heard from them, uh, we took into account in the final design of the project that went to Planning Commission. Um, the name that's there right now, West Norfolk Marketplace, also known as West Side Place, is simply a placeholder. And uh, that decision has not been made. We appreciate their comments. We've had a lot of discussion with the development team about using a place as a, uh, as a marker for the name. Uh, but it, it, in the life of the project, it's just a little too early to come up with a final name for the project. Uh, a couple of other issues that uh, came up during the Planning Commission was the importance of the Elizabeth River Trail. Uh, this site clearly falls along the trail. Uh, it starts, of course, north of Lafayette River and continues down through downtown and to Norfolk State University. Uh, we have revised the site plan to accommodate the trail in one of two locations, one next to the uh, Norfolk Southern right-of-way, which I think is the uh, preferred location of a lot of the trail stakeholders. Another that we had proposed, which actually came along 25th Street, which would be more kind of in the heart of the redevelopment project that we are proposing. Uh, at this point, uh, the recommendation from, count, excuse me, from the Planning Commission was uh, that the preferred, preferred route was along the Norfolk Southern right-of-way, but that in the final site plan approval, that would be worked out with Public Works. So we are still open to that and have shown both of those options in the plan that's in the packet in front of you tonight. So again, I will be glad to present any or all of the project or answer questions that Council may have. Let me ask you about your timeline. I mean, um, what, are you, what are your next steps? What are your proposed next steps here if the Council were to vote tonight? Well, uh, in order to close on the property, the developers have to have entitlement, and this is part of the entitlement process. So the next step would be to... to when, would, when is your closing anticipated? It would be in 2016, would be anticipated. I mean, do you know what in the second half? I mean, I'm trying to figure out how time-sensitive this is. I mean, we certainly have a lot of respect for the concerns raised by uh, the citizens at Lambert's Point. If, um, if delaying this for a month for more discussion... Uh, if that doesn't set the project back, it seems to me that would be something that might be helpful to all of us. It might even help you get a good result. Well, but Mr. Tingle, I, I would take a cue right now from, we have a community that is supportive of this project overall and is just asked to name the project after the community. And it's a historical community. I don't understand the naming of a shopping center is gonna make that much of a difference in how you market this. Isn't it the stores and the things that you guys are going to bring to it that are really going to make the difference in the end, not the actual name of the shopping center? But you've got a community that's come down here and has said, you know, that they're supportive of the project, but name it after them. Take a cue, and you'll get everybody's support instead of delaying a month on this. I, I, it's a name of a historical community that actually has a lot of respect in Norfolk, and why not just name it Lambert's Point Place or... You know, does West Side? I mean, I know it's a placeholder, but take it. There is no West Norfolk. I right. don't understand yeah. what and, you're doing. And 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 the other piece too is that it may just be a placeholder. But one of the things that happens with placeholders <laughs> as names yes. is they become permanent yes. because they appear in documents. And then it's one of those things where you know, in order for us to change it, we've got to go back and we've got to redo all the documents oh. because it's just gone from document to document to document. And so. I would I would totally agree with Councilman Smeagol and you know it's the name of it it means something it means something to the community and I, I think that it's it's well, worth you know Okay now look th th this is a um, this is private development um, it's um, it's not all private we we signed that land was yeah. and we've got we right we're but I mean, the, 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 with the look, look, the only all I'm asking you, we, we've given you our, our opinion, opinion. Okay? Our and if you want to take a month and think about it and talk with the Civic League, that would probably be a good idea. Or you can talk about it, you can think about it right now. Give me. Terrific. We're going to help you all we can. That was easy. Okay. Yeah, that was easier fun. than I thought. Go ahead. You want to say? You want to, or you want to put it in the record? We will agree to have Lambert's Point in the name of the of the project. Okay. Okay. And also. Okay, all right.
could hey, you? Hey, Amy, wait a minute. That's, that's as far as we're going to. Okay. I mean, I would think that's as far I, as you can get them to go. About yeah. the Elizabeth River Trail. Is, you know, we've worked long and hard on that trail and okay. part of our biking and jogging network in our city. And it's very important that we go around and back behind the center. Uh, and I know I had a commitment from our manager. We're going to make that happen, correct? You do remember that commitment. Okay. Mamie, I didn't mean to cut you off. Was that something? Thank you. That's all. Um, no, I was just saying that, that the community requested, um, as you stated, where they are at the present time in the project. Oh. So just updating the community um, so that they'll know where, where they are um, at this point in the project. Great. Right. Certainly. We'd be glad to, to update them as the project goes forward. Sure. Thank you, sir. Mr. Tingle, there's there's been an issue that we've seen that's come up about the uh, organic natural grocery store. And, uh, we received that information primarily from the newspaper about that. At the same time in the newspaper, we also received the information uh, from what the community's wishes were with regard to that particular type of uh, grocery store. And that may have a broad appeal, but oftentimes we seek that uh, prices are reasonable for the community that's closest. Uh, and that it's a place that the community that's closest uh, would actually be able to use and not in turn force that community to go elsewhere where they let's say they've been shopping for a long time uh, and that in in reality it remains a a grocery store desert for them um, if you could at some point when you do come back or at over a period of time uh, give us a little bit more of that concept that you all are looking at would I go organic and natural sure I would. I live down the street from Lambert's Point, but the residents at Lambert's Point have asked that there be prices that are reasonable for them. And perhaps at some point we can figure out what the chain is or who's coming in and that the prices that they can then, and we can all examine the reasonableness of the prices, the, the, the freshness of the food. Uh, that's something that everyone in the community would be able to go to. It's not just all organic and natural, but also open to everyone that who may not want natural or organic or be able to pay those prices. So if you could give us that reassurance also over a period of time, mm -hmm. I'd appreciate that. And, and I'm and sure the community would. We, we can even tell you and the community tonight that the, you know, the, the grocery that we are looking at is one that provides healthy food at affordable prices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not a grocery that's uh, in the Hampton Roads market at this time, so we're not talking about another Whole Foods or another fresh market. Um, it is a grocery store that, that focuses on healthy food, that tries to get uh, not have uh, uh, foods that have trans fats and, and high fructose syrups. Uh, that's kind of in their, their mission. That's uh, they do a lot of education in the community about health. They have uh, fresh foods that folks can take out and take home. Okay. Um, so it, it is providing that, that option, but it is providing it at affordable prices. I, I actually, um, because I was, had great interest in this store, uh, actually filed up and went to this store in Charleston. And I would echo just exactly what he said, because our neighborhoods need to have affordable, healthy food. Yeah. And that's exactly what this... Um, so it is affordable. It is. It is. And it's... Um, and if you uh, don't want it, we'll take it down yeah. in Ocean View because yeah. we've been trying to get them to come down there. <laughs> but they, they... So this is for, a definite asset right. for this side of town. Well, maybe it's that... For needs. all of our residents all up and down because as difficult as it is for Lambert's Point. I mean, I'll frankly speak for areas north of that. We have even farther to go to grocery stores. So this is something that will draw in people from all over our city, and it will provide options that is very good. So I think it was unfortunate that the newspaper article painted this as something that it wasn't. And well, I've talked with the, the citizens in Lambert's Point about it, and they're excited about it. Th this, okay. this store has a particular mission to bring health foods right. in areas that normally wouldn't get healthy right. foods. Right. Right. They even, their um, requirements for their median household income is different than a Whole Foods. Right. And so it, it uh, we hope to see actually more of them come through for those of us who can't afford to go to Whole Foods. Or Whole Page. Um, that do enjoy <laughs> eating. That. And I'm excited for it. I mean, I live down Hampton Boulevard. I'm excited for it. But the key is perhaps we need to communicate that better to the neighborhood. Again, which I think was the first request. So, yeah. Okay. I think we, thank you. We go a long way if we do that. Thank you. And Dr. Wibley, thank you for those comments. Too. You bet. Okay. Call the roll. I have three ordinances, Mr. President. 
First is an ordinance to amend the city's general plan so as to change the land use designation for property located at 1209 West 26th Street from multifamily corridor to commercial. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Mr. Aye. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. The second is an ordinance to amend the city's general plan so as to change the land use designation for property located at 2330 Bowdens Ferry Road from industrial to commercial. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Mr. President, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. There sure. was some discussion that they were going to put it off 30 days. We no, no, no. On that we're going to go forward and the community's fine. All right, there, if everybody's good. Yeah, aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. And the third is an ordinance to rezone properties located at 2315 to 2613 Hampton Boulevard, 1250 West 24th Street, 1215 to 1225 West 25th Street, 1204, 1207, and 1209 West 26th Street, and 2330 Bowdens Ferry Road from I-1, uh, I-3, and C-2 to conditional C-2. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Uh, public hearing uh, 11. Public hearing 11, scheduled for this day on the application of 8412 Shore Drive Development, LLC, for a zoning text amendment to Section 27-26 Taylor's Landing Plan Development to increase the number of dwelling units and decrease the off-street parking requirements within the Taylor's Landing Plan Development Zoning District, and by 7-0 vote, Planning Commission recommends approval. All right, there are three uh, folks who have signed up to address the Council on this matter. They're all proponents. They're here to, two of them are here to answer questions if anybody has any. I'd read your names out, but I, I can't read the writing. It's, but, but one's Bobby and one's John and one's Gray. How about that? Okay. All right, call the roll. An ordinance to amend in section 27-26 of the zoning ordinance of the city of Norfolk 1992 so as to increase the maximum number of dwelling units and reduce off-street parking requirements in the Taylor's Landing Plan Development District. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. Aye. Mr. Protegiru. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smigel. I just want to say we appreciate the investment that's going to be made over here. Um, there was some minor opposition from some community members that were worried about some additional high density, but as the Civic League um, discussed with this, that there's a need to grow population over on that end so that we can attract um, some retail in that area because of the water situation. And the development also includes some uh, retail components, which I think is exciting for um, that side. Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing 12. Public hearing 12 scheduled for this day to hear comments to amend section 14.1-137 <laughs> of the Norfolk City Code so as to change the voting place of the Ocean View Center precinct. Cool. I have an ordinance to amend section 14.1-137 of the Norfolk City Code so as to change the voting place of the Ocean View Center Precinct. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing 13. Public hearing 13 scheduled for this day to hear comments on authorizing the land disposition and development contract to be entered into with Luna Development Services, LLC and authorizing the conveyance of parcels of real property to Luna as provided in the LDDC. Can I ask a couple of questions for you? Um, you know, when I looked up, uh, PH 13, there's no explanation about it in there. And mm -hmm. now didn't we take a million dollars out of the budget that was supposed to be going to them and reprogram it? Uh, is this for, is this, this is not, this is, this is not church this street. is balanced. This is not church street. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I have an ordinance authorizing the land disposition and development contract to be entered into with Luna Development Services, LLC, and authorizing the conveyance of parcels of real property to Luna, as provided in the LDDC. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing 14. Mr. President, the lessee has requested that okay. for this item to be withdrawn. All right. 
Okay. So the motion is to withdraw. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing 15. Public hearing 15 scheduled for this day to hear comments on approving the terms and conditions of a lease with Norfolk NATO Festival Inc. For, cer for certain premises located at 1361 and 1371 Hanson Avenue, Norfolk, Virginia, and authorizing the execution of the lease. And I have an ordinance approving the terms and conditions of a lease with Norfolk NATO Festival for certain premises located at 1361 and 1371 Hanson Avenue, Norfolk, Virginia, and authorizing execution of the lease. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing 16. Right. Public hearing 16, scheduled for this day to hear comments on approving a lease agreement with the Beacon Light Civic League, Inc., for a portion of the property known as the Berkeley Neighborhood Multipurpose Center at 925 South Main Street. And I have an ordinance approving a lease agreement with the Beacon Light Civic League, Inc., for a portion of the property, property known as the Berkeley Neighborhood Multipurpose Center at 925 South Main Street in the city of Norfolk. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Public hearing 17, please. Public hearing 17, scheduled for this day to hear comments to amend and reordain sections 1 and 2 of the Capital Improvement Program budget for the fiscal year 2016, so as to establish funding for additional capital improvement projects in the amount of $13,500,000. Call the roll, please. I have an ordinance to amend and reordain sections 1 and 2 of the capital improvement program budget for the fiscal year 2016, so as to establish funding for additional capital improvement projects in the amount of $13,500,000 and to provide the funds, therefore, from the issuance of bonds. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiro? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Yes, aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Thank you. R1, please. R1 is an ordinance accepting a grant award of $165,000 from the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Services to assist the Community Services Board's consumers with intellectual disabilities in moving from institutional settings into more independent community settings and appropriating and authorizing expenditure of the grant funds. Uh, just a second. Ellis, did you want to say something? Ellis James, did you want to speak on R1 through 5? No, they can go ahead. I'll follow them. If, if that's okay with you, it's okay with us. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to, are you, okay, do you want to address the council on, the, on this matter? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, before you tonight, there's an ordinance to accept several new grants and funding streams totaling $1.9 million for the Community Services Board that expands services to some of our most vulnerable citizens. With the support of the city, we are excited to see the services and resources in our community continue to expand to meet new and emerging demands and to fill gaps in the system. Last year, you provided us with support to assertively participate in the Governor's Access Program. We have served 458 persons in this program since January, generating more than $368,000 in revenue. Okay, you're winning, so okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to do it, all right? Thank you. Okay, thank you. And your, and your name is? Jackie Shady. Okay, Jackie, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right, Ellis, you want to? Ellis James, please. No, you're winning. Okay, Ellis. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Members of council, Mrs. Graves, our vice mayor, and Mr. Jones, my city manager. <laughs> um, my name is Ellis W. James. I reside at 2021 Ken Lake Place here in the city of Norfolk. I would like to call attention to R1 through R5, please. Rather than to take up your time, these five items are extremely important to our city. I took the time to uh, speak to the police chief. Now, I'm not speaking for him now, but uh, I asked him specifically, was there any aspect of these five grants that worried him or created a problem? And I think he and I are on the same page. There are so many positive things that will come from these five grant items. And once again, I didn't want to take your time to speak on each one, 
but I think it's extremely important for the council members to clearly understand that there are people and taxpayers in this city who support this activity. It will address the needs of many among us who are the neediest. It will address the issues of homelessness. It will especially, in my view, address the question of helping our police department with an issue that is so difficult to come to grips with when you're talking about the interaction between the police officers and the police department and the citizens. I would urge you to vote for each one of these in the affirmative, and I wish you all a very blessed Christmas season. And uh, Mr. Mayor, please, ho, ho, ho. no fire in the fireplace, please. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. Aye. Mr. Protegiru. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smigel. Aye. Dr. Wibley. Aye. Mr. Wynn. Aye. Mr. Frame. Aye. R2. An ordinance accepting a grant award of $200,000 from the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Services to expand the number of consumers assisted in the Community Services Board's program of assertive community treatment and appropriating and authorizing expenditure of the grant funds. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R3. An ordinance accepting a grant award of $305,295 from the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Services to support the continuance of the Community Services Board's crisis intervention program and appropriating and authorizing the expenditure of the grant funds dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt Ms. Graves. Aye. Ms. Johnson. Aye. Mr. Protegiru. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smeagle. Aye. Dr. Wibley. Aye. Mr. Wynn. Aye. Mr. Frame. Aye. R4. An ordinance accepting a grant award of $350,000 from the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Services to provide permanent supportive housing for rental assistance to consumers of the Norfolk Community Services Board appropriating and authorizing the expenditure of the grant funds. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. Where we are, five. An ordinance accepting a grant award of $952,773 from the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Services to implement an assertive program to improve access to treatment and in homelessness for single adults experiencing chronic homelessness with mental illness, substance abuse disorders, and appropriating and authorizing the expenditure of the funds for the program. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Portagero? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R6. An ordinance approving an agreement by and between, by, between and among Lake Wright LLC Hospitality Management Advisors, Inc., CXA 16 Corporation, the Economic Development Authority of the City of Norfolk, Lake Wright 2 LLC, and the City of Norfolk pertaining to the public road to be constructed at Lake Wright. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Um, before I vote on this, I just want to um, take the time to commend the staff and um, our development team for keeping this alive despite all the obstacles and um, things that have been thrown at us. You guys have managed to keep this deal alive and uh, I appreciate that and I just want to commend you on that. I vote aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? I'm just surprised there's nobody here from Virginia Beach to speak against this. <laughs> aye. <laughs> Honor in your old Dr. Wibley? I learned from the best. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. You got a long way to go there. Okay, R7. An ordinance granting a downtown development certificate to permit the construction of a multifamily residential building on property located at 117 West Virginia Beach Boulevard. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Hi, Mr. Morissette, thanks for coming down. Thanks for your confidence. Um, where are we? R8. Eight. An ordinance approving the terms and conditions of the real estate purchase agreement and the conveyance to the City of Norfolk of certain property fronting Main Street, Bank Street, and Plume Street in the city and authorizing the city manager to accept the deed on behalf of the city. 
dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. R9. An ordinance to amend and reordain section 25-321 of the Norfolk City Code 1979 so as to authorize the operation of golf carts in the River Point area of the city. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Ms. Graves? Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. I have one additional item, Mr. President. Um, it's numbered uh, R10, and it is an ordinance to schedule council meeting dates for the year 2016. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance and adopt. Yes, we, we did. We changed that. Okay. Change one, we? We, we, we changed uh, the election okay. date to the 15th, but we agreed... Um, you know, informally to to move dates forward. I mean, the, the starting times for it if we needed to. Thank you. But we're still going to keep the same dates. Right. Okay. Ms. Graves? Okay. Aye. Ms. Johnson? Aye. Mr. Protegiru? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smigel? Aye. Dr. Wibley? Aye. Mr. Wynn? Aye. Mr. Frame? Aye. It's all that, Mr. McMahon. President. McMahon. I'm sorry. The blue right by you. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, that concludes the formal portion of tonight's agenda.